Hello everyone. In the prior session, we discussed that accounting is the language of business. In this session, we will talk about the rules of accounting. Just like any discipline or any game you play, you have to have your own rules. And accounting has its own sets of rules. They're called GAAP. No, not the GAAP store. Generally accepted accounting principles. We need to follow those rules to ensure consistency and accuracy in financial reporting. So in this session, we will discuss what is GAAP? Why is it necessary? Look at some key principles in GAAP. We will also talk about the organization that establishes GAAP, which is FASB, the Financial Accounting Standard Board. We will also discuss the role of the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, in standard setting of accounting policies. What is their role? Also, we will discuss the International Accounting Standard Board. It's the equivalent international board that sets the equivalent international gap, which is called IFRS, the International Financial Reporting Standard. We will discuss those very briefly because when I'm discussing gap, I am discussing specifically United States US gap. At the end of the session, we will work on multiple choice questions to reinforce the concepts. As a financial accounting student, it's essential to have a basic familiarity with these topics. You need to know what is GAAP. That's all that you have to know. Who establishes GAAP? What is it for? Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Our financial accounting course is best for online students and students who are struggling in their financial accounting courses. We cover all the essentials from debits and credits, adjusting entries, closing entries, financial statements, and all balance sheet accounts. Our comprehensive course include lectures, multiple choice, true false, as well as practical exercises. Start your free trial today to help you pass your financial accounting course. Your success starts here. GAP is the rules for accounting. And I'm, I'm gonna say the, rule, the rules is a misnomer because GAP are commonly followed accounting standard. Notice commonly. It's mean it's commonly accepted, generally accepted. And we're gonna explain what does that mean in a moment. So GAAP are rules that are generally accepted by everyone, accounting standard principles and procedures that company, I would say, must follow when compiling their financial statements. So when you're preparing your financial statements, you need some sort of rules. Where can you find those rules? Those rules are found in GAAP. Now, who writes GAAP, who sets GAAP? We'll talk about this shortly. But GAAP, since we have rules, specific rules, this is to ensure consistency. Remember in the prior session, I said accounting is the language of business. And if we have business people talking am amongst each other, they would understand each other. Why? Because they're using the same language, accounting. But the rules has to be consistent across all companies. GAAP ensures transparency. If you follow GAAP, you're going to, you're going to, show everything you need to show. You're not going to be hiding anything. Also, GAAP enhances comparability. So when you have the same rules and everything is transparent, as an investor, you can choose between company A and company B without having any doubts because you have all the information. Everyone followed the rules. The rules are consistent. Everyone is transparent. There are other features we're going to look at shortly. And this is great. So GAAP ensures those consistency, transparency, and comparability of financial information, which is important for investors, creditors, regulators, stakeholders. Stakeholders means anyone that's interested in this information, specifically investors and creditors. And why investors and creditors? Because those are the groups that do what? Invest in you, gives you money. Also, why do we need to be consistent? Why do we need to have the information comparable? Think of an audit. When a company hires an audit, if the information is consistent, if the information is comparable from year to year or from company to company, the auditor will have a set of rules to follow. And we're gonna talk about the importance of audit when it comes to GAAP shortly. Now there, are, now there are key principles in GAAP. There are many of them, but I'm gonna mention two here. We're gonna mention a few when we look at something called the framework. One is relevance. Basically, GAAP states that 
when you provide information the financial information must be capable of making a difference in the decision made by users it means the information is relevant 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 means what it helps you predict the future trend or confirm past decision thereby impacting your decision impacting the stakeholders action what does that mean if I predict sales to increase by 10% how do I know this well I see that this company's sales is increasing 10% year over year from their accounting information this information becomes relevant then I can predict that their future sales will increase by 10% it helped me predict the future now if the sales did increase by by 10 percent it confirmed my confirm my, my past decision therefore accounting provide relevant information that's going to help me make a better decision that's one feature of gap it tells you the information has to be relevant also also it's not only relevant it's that it has to have faithful representation it means it's true reflect the true economic reality of the transaction and event so the transaction that you are reporting are actually that actually happen this ensures that the data is complete we have completeness neutral it doesn't favor one group over the other and free from error you, you cannot have errors now you could have minor errors but you can not have major error the key is to provide a true and fair view of the company's financial performance and position so it has to be relevant it has to be faithful representation there are other principles that we need to be complied with but we're going to see this next now who sets gap well we have regulatory bodies and specifically we're going to be discussing two of them FASB and the SEC starting with FASB FASB stands for the financial accounting standard board or for short FASB this is a private independent organization and when I say private it means not a government well it's responsible for establishing and improving financial accounting and reporting standard in the US FASB is the organization that issues gap through transparent and inclusive process that involve public input so FASB is a private organization and FASB is the mother of gap GAAP we just talked about gap it's a private organization you can google them you can go to their website but that's all what you need to know it's this private organization that establishes gap and obviously most of them are CPAs now the other organization that we need to be familiar with that that is involved in this gap reporting which is accounting is the SEC or the Securities and Exchange Commission it's a US government agency this is a public US government agency and their task is enforcing federal securities law and regulating the securities industry so what does SEC has to do with the gap or accounting remember what I talked about when I talked about Bill Gates in the prior session I said we have Microsoft Microsoft as a company which is founded by Bill Gates and we have people with money and we call them investors and remember what I said I said what connect those two people is the language of business which is accounting now when Bill Gates goes to the investors to ask for money to ask the public for money well guess what the SEC they want to make sure that Bill Gates is user proper accounting they want to make sure that Bill Gates is transparent they want to make sure Bill Gates is not committing financial fraud that's the job of the SEC why because Bill Gates his company Microsoft eventually will have investors those investors are innocent they invest their money so the, the role of the government is to protect or at least the SEC that's the role is to make sure that when companies sell stocks and securities they are being transparent they're providing enough information one of the roles is to ensure companies that offer securities when we say securities it means stocks stocks means ownership in the company when they sell those stocks to the public the companies are adhering they're following gap for financial reporting so this way investors knows exactly what they are buying why because if you know gap you know what you're buying so the SEC oversees FASB so above FASB we have the SEC now above SEC there's the US Congress but we don't have to worry about this okay so FASB is under the SEC but the FASB has the authority to set the accounting standard so as long as the SEC don't reject a standard it becomes commonly accepted 
So the SEC don't set the rules. They let FASB set the rules, but they can overwrite FASB at any time that they want to. So we have FASB, FASB create gap. Gap are the rules that private companies follow. The SEC think of it as the watchdog, the watchdog of FASB and the accounting process. Why are they the watchdog? Because investors rely on financial reporting. And we need to have clear, transparent, consistent, comparable, truthful financial information. Also for this, when we, when we undergo an audit, we need to have this information, transparency, consistency, comparability, specific rules that the auditor can follow. Audits and compliance. Audits, what, what is an audit? It's an independent examination of the financial statement to ensure they are prepared with GAAP. So when you want to audit a company, you need a measuring stick to compare to. So if I'm auditing a company, are they following the rules? Well, what are the rules? The rules are GAAP. So this is why we need the rules. Auditor assesses the financial statement, provide true and fair view of the company's financial position and performance. Now, the auditors does not tell you whether the company is, good, is a good company or a bad company. All what the auditor is saying, whether this company followed GAAP, whether it's a good or a bad, in quote, not a good investments or a good investment that you make that decision. The auditor's job is to tell you, look, the numbers are following the rules, make your decision. In this process, the reason we have an audit, the reason we have auditors is to enhance the credibility and reliability. So this way, once the financial statements are audited, we can rely on them. We can trust them, especially for investors, assuring investors and other stakeholders. When we say stakeholders, it means all, everyone. Remember, stakeholders is different than stockholders. Stockholders are the investors, are the people that own the company. Stakeholders are every, everyone else. Anyone that's interested in the company is a stakeholders. Now, so far, we've been talking about US GAAP, generally accepted accounting principle. Now, obviously, we have also international accounting standard because everyone else outside the United States, with the exception one or two countries, follow another set of rules. The International Accounting Standard Board, which is the, the equivalent of FASB, this is the International FASB. Those, this is an independent global organization responsible for developing and promoting the use of IFRS, the International Financial Reporting Standard. So in France, in Europe, in Japan, in South Korea, in South America, in Mexico, in Canada, believe it or not, our northern neighbor, our southern neighbor, they use IFRS. These standards aim to provide a common global language for business affairs so that companies' accounts are understandable and comparable across international boundaries. So everyone else outside the U.S. follows, not FASB, they follow IASB. And IASB issues IFRS. This is the equivalent of GAAP. This is the international gap. IFRS, the international gap. IFRS are designed to bring consistency to accounting language practices and statements and to help businesses and investors meet educated financial analysis and decision. Think about someone in London and they want to invest in a French company. Well, it's two different countries, but as long as they're using the same accounting system, it's easier. Or someone in London wants to invest in Japan or in China. Well, you need to have the same numbers. Now, while IFRS and GAAP share many similarities, there are, there are key differences in certain accounting treatment and disclosure. Now, year after year, both GAAP and IFRS, they are conversion. Why? Because we need com global comparability. Money flows from country to country. So in a globalized economy where businesses operate across borders and investors seek opportunity worldwide, the comparability of financial statements becomes important. So you could have someone in France, someone in Japan, they want to invest in a U.S. company. As long as they can read their financial statements and understand it and trust it, then they can. So consistent accounting standard facilitate, make it easier for investment decision because it enhances transparency, reduce the cost of capital. What do I mean by the reduce the cost of capital? And this is important. The more you know about a company, the more you know, think about it, the more you know what's going to happen, the less is the risk. Why? Because if you know, if you trust the information, there's less risk in making that decision. The less is the risk 
the less is the cost because if you are taking a lot of risk you want a high return you you ask for much much more in return because you're taking risk but if the risk is less if accounting can reduce the risk how would accounting reduce the risk if accounting is transparent if accounting is not only transparent it's understandable it's reliable then you are taking less risk why you are providing reliable comparable financial information across the jurisdiction this is going to make me more comfortable when i look at the numbers i understand the numbers i'm willing to invest although i'm investing in a south korean company but i trust the numbers my risk is down the company can raise money at a lower cost and this is the importance of global comparability let's take a look at this multiple choice question from farhatlectures.com qr is reviewing its compliance with the sec regulation what is the primary role of the sec in relation to the financial reporting so simply put what's the role of the sec a setting accounting standard directly this is a very tempting questions no, the Securities and Exchange Commission don't set the accounting standards. Who does this? FASB. Overseeing the proper use of GAAP by companies. Do they oversee this process? Yes, that's their job. They want to make sure you are using the proper GAAP. Disclosure, financial reporting. This is a good answer choice. Let's look at C. Preparing financial statements for companies. That's a laughable answer. The SEC don't do that. Conducting internal audit for companies. They don't conduct internal audit. Well, if they find fraud, they might have an investigation, but they don't conduct internal audit. Each company will have their own internal auditors. So D is out and they have external auditors as well. So the answer is B, it oversees the proper use by companies. If, if you violate GAAP, if you violate accounting rules, the SEC will come down and they will hammer you and they... It, they do this all the time. If you watch the financial news, you would see the SEC investigating this company, that company, so on and so forth. What should you do now? You want to go to farhatlectures.com. Look at additional resources, lectures, multiple choice, true, false. That's going to help you do better in your accounting courses. Invest in yourself. Good luck. Study hard. And of course, stay safe.